Um, I'm gonna say right off the bat that I have had a real struggle today and I'm gonna ask you all to just bear with me. Those of you who watched my live last night with my, with my wigs that I have, uh, know that I have been struggling with shoulder pain and it's really singing opera tonight. So I'm gonna try to make it through this without going like, ouch. So if I go ouch, you all will know what's going on. But let's look at the beachy bronze look. I have been really excited about showing you all this because I don't know how many of you all are planning on a beach vacation this year and if you're even gonna to get to go, but I'm telling you this would, I don't know, I love the beach. But one thing I don't love about the beach is I don't love that my hair looks always horrible when I come in from the beach. And I don't always look, I don't always love the fact that I have to take a lot of time to fix myself when I wanna go out after I've been at the beach. So tonight we're gonna to do a quick look and I have got on my little beachy blonde wig. Now I chose this particular wig, not because I think that it's most, the nicest wig I've got, because it really isn't. I got this wig for 19 bucks off of Amazon. You know, it's a cheap wig. But if you're gonna to go to the beach and wear a wig, you want something like this. You don't want to take your, you know, $1,200, you know, hand-tied monofilament human hair wig. You don't wanna do that. You wanna take something like this that you can put a baseball cap on or you can wear head wraps with. And at the end of the week, if it, if it is trashed, it was 19 bucks, but you got your $19 worth of wear out of it. So that's what I normally, that's what I normally do. If I'm gonna be going somewhere where I just, you know, am gonna be just running around a lot, especially to the beach or somewhere, I'll throw this in my overnight bag or in my suitcase and this is what I'll do because I think it looks good enough and I, I just like it. I, I, I like this wig. I think for 19 bucks, it's a good value for the money. So it is a, a wig that's on Amazon. I did a review on it. So if you wanna take a look at it, I think it might possibly be in my Amazon store. If you wanna link, just let me know and I'll send, you, send it to you. So anyway, let's get on with this. I've been looking forward to this, to really you know recreating this look. So the first thing that I need to tell you is I have on the foundation I have on the eye corrector and I have on lip liner and translucent powder. And that's all I have on. I don't, obviously I have on no eye makeup. I don't have on any blush. I have on no bronzer. That's it. What you see now is what you get. Unfortunately, this is me without any makeup. So I'm gonna take my wig hair and I'm just gonna clip it back out of my face so I can do this. So this is gonna look a little strange, but oh well. Y'all have seen me looking strange before, so you're, this is just one more time, and I am kind of actually strange, so that's okay. So the first thing that I'm going to use is I'm going to use this bronzer here in Gilded Glow. And let me grab my, let me grab my little makeup mirror here. So let's just get to it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use this pretty much as my blush. I'm going to just Start right about right here, and I'm going to use a circular motion, and I'm just going to put that on right there, and I'm going to go up a little bit, kind of around the outer edge of my face. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and what you're doing is you're really just kind of polishing your face with this bronzer, and that's just kind of what you're doing. And then I'm gonna go right up here with just a little bit of it. I'm not gonna use much, just a little bit. And then right, right there underneath that wig hair. And then I'm gonna go there, use a little bit right there. And right there. So you're just really creating a sun kiss look. I'm actually gonna use a little bit right there. Not much. But that just kind of gives your face just a little bit of a lift. Now. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can kind of see this look. There we go. I wanna use just a little bit more because I don't think I got it quite dark enough in here with this light. I've got my light up really bright tonight because the lighting was just horrible on this when I started off. So that's been kind of a challenge. So here we go. So you're wanting to just create that little bronzed look with that bronzer. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my highlighter and I'm gonna use 
this one right here. This is, oh Lord, hold on, let me look up the name of that because my, that has left my mind glazed. The other one is Honey, I think, Honey Glow and Glazed. I'm going to use the lighter of the two, which is Glazed. It's hard to keep up with all these names. And I'm going to use just a little bit of this on the top of my cheekbones. Now, I'm not going to need a lot of this because that bronzer has got some sparkle in it. But I'm just going to use it, and I'm going to use it down the middle of my nose and right here because I want that to be like a more of a sun-kissed look. And I'm just going to use just a tad bit of that. Now, the next thing that I'm going to use is we're going to work on my eyes here for just a minute. And I'm going to use the lighter color of the two colors that you want to use. So we're going to use the biscotti. And I'm going to get enough to, you know, to do here. And I'm going to put this all over up to my brow, all the way down in here. I'm going all the way down to right in there with this biscotti. And down to the crease. And I've got to say, I used to really wear a lot of shimmer, and I still wear shimmer because I like shimmer. And so, but I have kind of fallen in love with this biscotti and the hazelnut colors lately. I have been wearing a lot of them. So you want to just kind of go like right in that corner too with that light color with that biscotti or the moonstone, whichever one you have and you're gonna have something that looks kinda of like this. Now let me take just a second and look at these comments to see if there's something here I need to respond to. Oh, Heather, thank you. Oh, good, Diana, I'm glad you like that color. Yes, you can buy the bronzer by itself. Hey, Ermie, I'm so glad you're on here. Oh my goodness, I'm glad you got to tune in and come to the live, I'm so glad. I, that excites me a little bit. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the color shiny penny and this is this color here i'm going to take the shiny penny and i'm going to go down the middle of my eye with it now shiny penny is pretty highly pigmented and it's got some shimmer the girl's got some shimmer let me just tell you i mean she really really does so that doesn't bother me because I know they say over 50, you don't need to wear shimmer, but I like shimmer and I'm gonna wear it. So um, let's just go all the way up to the crease and a little past the crease. Go on a little bit past that crease. All the way out, we're gonna carry this through all the way out to the end. Now, ladies, I will tell you, when you're doing this at home to yourself, it's going to be much quicker than me doing this on this tutorial because I'm stopping to talk in between and I'm talking as I'm going. But when you're doing this, it's going to go like a snap. It's really, really is. It's going to be easy. So um, don't think it's going to take you this long to do this when you're putting your makeup on because it really won't. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty quick, really. But I wanted to do show y'all something quick because I know some of you guys are going to be going on vacation. Summer's coming up. You're going to be busy, hopefully. Hopefully, we're not going to be all sheltering in place. And, you know, I know if y'all are like me, I'm wanting to just get out of the house. I mean, I don't care if I go get a hamburger down at Crystal. I want to go sit in some, I want to go sit in a restaurant and eat a hamburger. I don't care. I don't care much beyond that. That's that's my goal in life is to sit down at a restaurant and eat a hamburger. So I've got all this on. The next thing I'm going to do is I can't find my blending brush. Okay. Well, let me go back to the original brush I had. I probably forgot to bring it in here. I'm just going to kind of blend this in. Blend it together. Blend it down just a little bit. I'm kind of picky about how I do my brushes, but you all certainly do not have to be this picky. I'm kind of, I've got certain brushes that I use for certain things, and I don't know. I just, I, I must be, I think I'm a little OCD about my brushes. The last color I'm going to use right now on the upper lid is this Cinnabar right here. And this is a really pretty warm brown color.
So this just deepens that just a little bit at the corner. So I'm not using much, I'm just going in the corner and going just a little bit in like a backwards C. Now I know that you all are probably, those of you who have watched some of my other eye tutorials are probably thinking, well, this is similar and it is similar because once you learn, you know, kind of what you can do and how to do it, it's really pretty much, there, there's really not, it's really not hard. There's not that much to it. And I would suspect, Army, that you would be really good at this because you're, you're an artist. And I would say you would be very good at putting on makeup. So this is one thing that you can do to make it kind of pop. Now let me check it out with just a minute with my glasses so I can see what I got going on here. Okay. I'm gonna take my flat edge brush, and if you don't have one of these in your makeup bag, ladies, you need one of these. This is the most, this is the most useful little tool. You can make any eyeshadow into an eyeliner with one of these. So I'm gonna take that Cinnabar, that last color I use, that brown, and I'm gonna go underneath my eye. Now, the model went pretty far in. I'm not gonna go in as far as she did, but let me tell you a little trick about brown eyeliner. I mean, brown um, eyeshadow. If you put brown eyeshadow underneath your eye like that, it kind of, I don't know why, I don't know how this works, but it kind of helps to camouflage dark circles. It kind of, I think it draws the eye up to the eye and away from the circles, but it kind of makes them look not quite as dark. So that's a little trick and a tip I learned from, um, Tyra Banks, and let me just clarify that. I don't actually know Tyra Banks, but I can watch America's Next Top Model when I want to. <laughs> so I tried it out. She told those models to do that, and I just tried it out to see if it works, and by crackies, it did. So then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna blend it again. I keep getting wig hair in my mouth and in my eye and everywhere else. I don't think I got this thing clipped up too good. So. There we go. Now, this is our quick little eye look. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the crayon eyeliner. Let me show you what, what thing I've been doing lately with my eyeliner and I did not think I would ever be doing this as often as I am now, but once I just started doing it, I've really enjoyed this technique, and that is lining your waterline on your upper eyelid. It takes a little practice, and you want to use either a crayon or a gel. You don't want to use a liquid eyeliner to do that because it's you're, you poke it in your eye, and it hurts. You know, like I said on my last video, you know, how do I know this? Well, you know, I had to test it out and it does, it does hurt. So, um, this is our, this is our black crayon and I'm going to go, and you can certainly, if you would rather use brown, use brown. It's fine. You can use blue if you like, use whatever color you want. But I think the black really, really makes, it makes your eyes pop and it makes your lashes look fuller, especially at the base. So I'm gonna go up in there and I'm gonna line that water line. Now you're gonna to want to get in there in between those lashes if you can. And don't stick it in your eye like I just did. Now, here's this eye versus this eye. Can you all see the difference? Now, you could certainly leave that like that if you wanted to. Let me do this eye. So, when you use a crayon, you want to try to get as close, when you're, when you're lining your waterline and then you're lining this, you want to get as close to your lashes as you can. So, let's get down in there. And I apologize, ladies, for the way my nails look. I honestly just have not felt like doing them today. I've actually been on the couch. <laughs> with ibuprofen and a pill of propping my shoulder up. So, you 
you want to try to um, get down in there at that lash line if you can. And I'm showing, I'm trying to show some looks with some crayon because I know not everybody likes, um, I got that on my, under my eye. Not everybody likes um, liquid eyeliner like I do. Some folks like a crayon, they prefer it. So, I always give it a little kick up at the end because it, especially if your eye is more mature, it really gives, it really makes a difference and it draws the eye upward and makes your eyes not look as saggy. Now, once you've done that, I'm gonna take my little flat edge brush again and I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna smudge it down some. Make it not quite as defined. Smudge some of that out. Make it look a little, t a tad bit softer. I apologize, I'm getting this all over my eyes, underneath my eyes. I forgot to bring any Q-tips in here to get it off, so. But there you go. Now, the next thing I'm gonna use, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is our new mascara. This is the Fanorama Mascara. This is a three-in-one brush. It coats your lashes with the mascara, and then it's got the other side of the brush, separates your lashes, and then it's got a little bristle brush on the tip that fans your lashes out. So we're gonna use that tonight. So let me get over here. Oh, I'm trying to get where y'all can see this and not get, um, let me back up just a bit and get to where I can see what I'm doing. Get that wig out of my face here. Now you wanna put your mascara on in a little bit of a wiggling motion. And wiggle it all on the way out to the end. I haven't noticed that this mascara has been really, it, it hasn't really been clumpy. And I really like that. That's one thing I always look for in a mascara is, is this thing, is it gonna clump? I just got it in my wig. Oh Lord, I'll have to clean that up in here in a minute. Um, so, that's one thing that I really enjoy about this Lash Love Mascara is it, is it doesn't clump. So, if you do get a clump by some chance, the way to fix a clumpy mascara is to take your index and your thumb, your index finger and your thumb, and just do this. Mash it. It makes a mess on your hand, but it does take care of the clump. So I wanted to show you all that. I learned that from some somebody on YouTube watching somebody's tutorial, and it really works. Now I'm gonna fan out the lashes. Now, I'm gonna say, ladies, this is not this is not necessarily quick, but I wanted to show you this new mascara because I just think it's really cool. So, I wanted to use that little fan brush because I can I can tell you now that I'm going to be this is limited edition and I am going to be saving this brush and using it and washing it and using it and <laughs> until the bristles fall out of it. Cuz I love this little brush. So, I'm going to do the other eye. Wiggle it all the way out to the end. And I'm gonna separate them. And 
I'm going to fan them out. Now, I don't know that I'd necessarily do all this if I was at the beach, like I said, but this mascara sure does work. And there you go. Now, I'm going to put just a little bit on my lower lashes. I normally don't wear mas mascara on my lower lashes much because my eyes water so badly that it's just, it's fruitless for me to put it on there. Um, but I'm going to tonight for you all just for you guys. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do tonight is I am going to put on a lip gloss. I'm not going to use a lipstick because, you know, after all, we're taking a little trip to the beach, and I'm going to use one of our lip glosses. I've got a mini here. The, the, the um, regular size is, let me show you, the regular size is much larger than this, um, but I grabbed a mini so that I could use this. This is what they look like. So, I grabbed a little mini of this because I thought the color was just really pretty and it would look really good with this. This is Fancy Nancy, and that's what we're going to use tonight. I have on, I do have on a lip liner, I have on a Medium Nude. And I love that lip liner. I wear it just about with everything that I've got just because I like the color. It's, it's really nice. Goes on real smooth and creamy. And here's the fancy Nancy. So let me get my glasses on so I can actually see how I look. Okay. All right. So this is my little beachy look for the summer. This is something I'm gonna be replicating quite a bit because like I said, when I'm not here talking, <laughs> which I love to talk, so I do talk a lot, um, I can get this look and I can be out the door in about five minutes when I just do my mascara, my regular mascara and I don't use that brush thing. But then I'm gonna get off here for a while and I'm gonna ice my shoulder down and I'm just gonna monitor this for a little bit. and. Listen, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I hope you all have had a really blessed day today. And you guys have a great day. God bless you. Maranatha, guys.